Hello and welcome friends, welcome to another interesting review of a fountain pen. This fountain pen was sent to me by a dear friend of my channel, a gentleman. He lives somewhere in Germany and he actually sent me a lot of fountain pens. This is the only one that was in its original pack. You know that I'm not so good at German, but I will try to read to you what is written on this pack and we will try to also to translate. So the producer or the line of uh, instruments is uh, Staufen or Staufen, I'm not so sure of the pronunciation and an interesting Knight Templar right there on a horse. Maybe this is uh, certainly their logo. You can see that the pack is simple, is, co is a cardboard box and here we have a transparent plastic. So 16 10 Patronen. 16 10 Patronen refers to these uh, six cartridges. Uh, we, I'm quite uh, full heart on means uh, fountain pen. So interesting that also those are branded. We will see about them. And most interesting, we will see the back of uh, it. So, full-hearted, meat, iridium, corn, feeder, 16th patronum. So, fountain pen with iridium uh, corn, I think iridium um, tip nib, and also a feed, six cartridges. Okay. Teddy, I'm not so sure, maybe it's a stationary store in Germany. Uh, not uh, suited for children under three years because um, they have small parts. The number of the article is 91782. And we have a distributor, Staufen GmbH and Company, Oberhaut. Hauptstrasse 58 785 Check that site out, guys. So, without further delay, let me open it. I'm not so sure what this costs, guys, but um, it appears to be an affordable school fountain pen. Let me open it. You will see we don't have any prices on, on it. I'm quite curious to see. Nice of them, uh, they have included six uh, cartridges. Not all of the producer do the same. Okay, let me open it. I will certainly give this as a gift to a school children in a uh, children in Romania. I usually do with those gifts from uh, other people that send the fountain pens uh, here for me to review them, especially those who are for school use. Okay. Okay, the same distributor, the same address here. I'm curious to see if uh, the cartridges are branded with their name of the company. Let me take one out. And no branding on them. Usually some German, like the Pelican ones, have branded here their name. The Pelican, and I've seen... Uh, on other, now I don't uh, remember, let me try to remember. I was searching for other cartridges to see if uh, they are the same. This is uh, a six pack from Pelican. Okay, now <laughs> we see in the cartridges or one of the cartridges and now let's return to the fountain pen. It is all made out of plastic 
it has this serious look of it uh, I'm not so sure if it's available in other colors but I've received this color which is a combination of different shades of gray on the clip we have fountain pen written in English and ink pen ink pen ink pen here interesting design of the cap you can see that it has those rings the three rings that are transparent and uh, you can notice on the ring in the middle those little shapes like they are eyes where in fact i think they have a role in securing the cap we will see about that when we test it let me turn around and we have another engraving here at the base liquid fountain pen interesting liquid it refers maybe to the ink i'm not so sure we will see about that so definitely a plastic one a light one and interesting interesting we have uh, this interesting plastic grip it is um, quite quite um, how can i put this it has no striations so you definitely will uh, sleep with your fingers on it i'm not so sure i did not use it a simple steel nib no engraving on it interesting design here and here you can see no breathing hole and uh, again a simple plastic feeder a gray colored plastic feeder quite quite interesting i wonder if the other if this available in other colors if the color of the feeder matches the color of the body it will be a nice little touch here a transparent plastic this is quite quite interesting we unscrew the barrel we check if there are some uh, cartridges there so probably you know guys from other episodes that usually with the new fountain pen i have problems till i get the ink to flow so maybe we will have luck with this one i will show you yes we have a liquid here so it's not dried the ink is seems to be good i will put it here and as a trick guys don't pull with your fingers but put it here 90 degrees and then you push the hole oops whoa whoa <laughs> i've almost well i've bent it i was trying to push it right in that spot my hope i did the job but i must check it out let me zoom on it guys for you to see what i'm doing i'm removing it to see yes we have contact and again you can see i'm pushing it back for a period of time usually 30 seconds they recommend it to place it in this position of course we don't have time to wait around and i will check if it writes let me in a corner or maybe right in the middle as you see guys it doesn't write for the first time no problem i was expecting that so before i will do any type of work let me leave in uh, the screen the dimensions of this fountain pen i will also change the angle of the camera for you to see better the writing sample and give me just a moment to do that guys so i will take only this okay and i will try to put it okay 
as good as I can there. Let me tell you, I'm quite curious to see how this uh, writing instrument performs. What can I say? A simple plastic one. Maybe, maybe it was made in China. I'm not so sure about it. The neighbor tells us some little details, but not enough. Well, when I usually have this problem, I apply pressure to it. You can see it feels... Yes, you can see, but by applying pressure, the ink is uh, doing its job there. Maybe a little zoom will be appropriate to see. I'm trying not to push too hard on the nib. And look, we have some little ink. Let me see. Yes, we can write with it. Now I'm putting this. I'm quite curious to see if it could hold another uh, ink cartridge so bear in mind guys I will insert one here and now let me see if we can close it well nice it closes quite nice and yes the answer you can hold two ink cartridges in the same time so without further delay this is a Staufen Fountain pen. An affordable school fountain pen. I'm not so sure about the price, but in my opinion, it should cost less than 10 uh, euros. So, less than uh, 10 uh, euros. The price should be so the price should be less than 10 euros in my point of view so it's a fountain pen made in germany made in germany it includes six ink cartridges small ones the blue is this um, a blue gray color <laughs> Koenig's blau they call it I'm not so sure it's Koenig's blau but it almost writes like a gray like the color of the fountain pen so uh, the nib what can I say about the nib well I think it's a fine or I should call it even a medium M for medium medium um interesting guys it caught a little dust right there and i hope you can see that little dust well usually when it cuts a little dust you will see that it writes quite quite um brother and um, let me see if i have a little cloth yes I have a little cloth here and I hope I can remove that because it doesn't do good to the nib. Let me check it out if I got it. Yes. Now I can test also the flexiness of this and you can see no flex. And I think it's still there guys. <laughs> let me zoom on it and uh, check it out and check it out also for yourselves I hope that it will zoom let me zoom out because I've lost it somewhere along the way I want to zoom on it and whoa okay so this is it and i wanted to show you the tip where it's that iridium tip so they say it's in a, an iridium tipped nib okay as a matter of fact i will do something but don't do this at home i will try to see if there are still some things left there I hope not. Okay, so 
you saw that little piece of uh, dust sometimes it can influence the way a fountain pen writes and i didn't want any influences on it because now it seems to write a little bit on the medium side no flex okay let me see how juicy this nib is medium juice i will say and let me now test if we have some line variation so here no pressure and here pressure no visible line variance well i'm quite imp uh, um, impressed with the performance of this fountain pen hmm. i could say it's good also for signatures uh, being uh, not uh, a wet writer but uh, medium uh, wet you can see that the signatures tend to scratch a little bit but when you do them real really quick that's why i recommend a more juicier nib for when you do the signatures with it i'm curious to see now the reverse writing and i'm impressed reverse writing definitely an f on reverse writing uh, a fine writer fine in comparison with the medium it usually is and no scratches no loss of ink flow i approve reverse writing with this instrument and now i can tell you about the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog well quite quite an interesting interesting writing instrument for school use i hope that it costs less than 10 euros because in my opinion this is a good price for it a plastic one a decent one you can lose it you can break it some call this uh fountain pen you use till you deplete the uh, cartridges but believe me guys i think if you buy new cartridges you can still write with this for a long long time i like again the beautiful design i like the fact that it is a light one and i think it will be a really really workhorse for the young students out there of course it has lots of competition from the chinese made fountain pens and even from uh, pelican and other uh, school uh, fountain pens which are at a low price sold at a low price in germany and in the rest of uh, europe so this is it guys i think it's quite quite nice it has already a little scratch here and i did not scratch it in this time believe me maybe it's a flaw on the fabric line uh, what can i say it uh, was quite quite easy to put in use so i definitely would recommend this fountain pen for school use especially if you have a limited budget let me check also this quite quite rigid guys so uh, it can be cracked here if you play with it hard and i didn't check if you can post it and yes you can post it in fact you can see that there is a plastic part out there that ensures it to uh, post quite quite nice what can i say of an affordable fountain pen i want to thank my dear friend in germany for giving me the opportunity to present this fountain pen on my channel by the way guys i don't know why there are no producers 
that want to send me phantom pens for their reviews. I must admit that I did not contact them, but I believe they have market departments. And for me, it's not... What can I say? It is not... Um, It doesn't seem fair to me that a viewer of my channel, who is a, maybe a collector, uh, should send me those products. Those products should come from, from directly those uh, people. Because, uh, believe me guys, I have uh, viewers that live in Germany and they could buy th this type of fountain pens for their children or even for them. And uh, I'm not so sure why they did, they don't uh, contact me and send me their products, especially this fountain pen. This is a cheap fountain pen. I don't ask Mont Blanc to send me limited editions of fountain pen to do their reviews. And probably I will give this to uh, young people uh, and, uh, uh, free of charge. And I, I don't want to make a business from uh, this. Uh, type of uh, transaction you know so i receive a fountain pen for a from a well-known producer and i gladly add it to my collection no 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 i will give it away because this is how the world should work in my point of view at least so i'm sorry for this last part guys but i had to share with you all my thoughts in pen collecting and but also on my youtube channel tell me what you think in the comments guys so thank you this was the review again thank you for the for the person who sent me this fountain pen you know who you are i hope that i can return the favor and send you that uh, vintage parker with the gold nib that I promised you. I hope I will have time. I won't forget that. And this why I'm um, saying it public on my channel. Yes, I will return the favor. I like to help the people who help me in my life, in my activity. So guys, thank you, thank you for your time. I want to wish you to have a nice, day wherever you are my friends i want to thank you for viewing this review of a school fountain pen and i hope you can find this type in your country if not uh, you probably um, it is the first time that i've heard about stauffen uh, and i promise that i will do my homework next time and maybe i will present their history Thank you again for your time. Have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to my channel to support my activity if you are, aren't subscribed yet. I will see you again at the next episode. Till then, bye-bye and God bless.